Hello everybody, welcome to vlog number 38. This is camera shootout week and today is October 11th, 2016. Today we're looking at the Vadio Robo Shot and comparing it with the PTZ Optics Gen 2 equivalent, the 12X SDI G2. Let's take a look at the back of these cameras. As you can see here, the Vadio has a network PoE with power over Ethernet. That feature's just been added to the PTZ Optics 12X SDI models. Uh, it has HD SDI, which is 3G HDMI, and an RS-232 port that looks a little different than the RS-232 ports on the PTZ Optics. We'll get into that in this video. As you can see, the PTZ Optics have uh, network control, audio in, analog, HDMI, HD SDI, and then RS-232 in and out. So this is going to be a fun vlog. Uh, it's camera shootout week. That means this Friday we are going to be live streaming with six different of the industry leading pan tilt zoom cameras. We're going to be showing them with live sports. We're going to be showing them in video production studios, in low light situations, and just regular conferencing spaces like we're in today. Normally it's Tech Support Tuesday, but I asked Andy Chatfield, our lead support technician, if I could do a camera shootout review instead. So let's go ahead and get started. So I wanted to start with an opening of the box. So here is opening of the box on each video here. Uh, in the left hand side you're seeing the Vadio uh, RoboShot HD-SDI being opened, and on the right hand side you're seeing the PTZ Optics 12X SDI G2 being opened. Now, both of these cameras uh, are very similar. They both have 12X optical zoom. They both include a little uh, manual. Uh, the Vadio camera actually includes a wall mount. So you can see that there. It actually comes with a standard wall mount and the hardware, which is very nice. With PTZ optics, it is extra. Um, you can see here, they both come with remote controls, batteries, the power supplies, uh, and a little startup guide. So that's very similar. The PTZ Optics comes with a DB9 to 8 pin mini DIN controller. That's the RS-232 connection in the back is an 8 pin mini DIN with the daisy chain capability. Vadio includes a um, basically a network to DB9 adapter, but it does not have daisy chaining. So here you can see the cameras coming out. There's the robo shot there um, with the all the ports that we mentioned there. Uh, we're taking the PTZ optics out as well. I think that's that kind of does justice for the opening of the box. I just wanted to be able to show that. So in this video, we are not only going to show, I have both cameras set up. So we're going to show side-by-side -side test footage. We are also, both of these cameras can go on the network. So we're going to show network functionality and the differences between those as well, which I think is very important. And I also wanted to show uh, the remote controls because this is really how most people control the cameras in general. So let's take a look at these two remote controls. Um, the Vadio one is on the left, the PTZ Optics is on the right. First of all, uh, you can see that at the top there, uh, the Vadio has the ability to do what's called a data screen, which I have some remarks about, uh, which we'll talk about later, a backlight, three cameras to select from, the PTZ Optics has four. Um, you ha can have pan, tilt, zoom, uh, autofocus, uh, very similar features. The only main difference is that the Vadio has six presets that you can call from, the PTZ Optics has nine, other than that, pretty much similar. The function buttons there in colors for the PTZ Optics allow you to do some interesting things in the manual, such as you know resetting the uh, IR the IP address, which is a fun, a handy little function that we are definitely going to talk about because both of these cameras are network cameras, and that means we really able to be able to really show these cameras off. We have to look at the network interfaces. Um, and that is going to be the next thing I want to show here. So let's go ahead and, and, and so, so the first thing I want to say is when, when you turn the robo shot on, and I'm just going to go full screen with the robo shot here, um, you, you'd think with the PTZ Optics, for example, you can click one button and you can start editing the picture quality. And that's kind of the most important thing that you have to do when you get that camera is you got to tune it to your room. Well, what I found out and this is nothing wrong with the, with the with the video camera, but what I found out was when I hit that data screen button, basically what it does is it shows an IP address. Oh, 
shows it for just a second there, and that's it, right? It shows your IP address and your Mac, your Mac address. There is no way to edit the actual picture of this camera with the remote control. If I'm wrong, Vadio, leave, you know, loads in below. Someone tell me if I'm wrong here, but there is no, I checked every button. There is no way to change the video. So that means we have to go to the IP um, settings and what, I'll go ahead and do that. So I did that for the Vadio here. And this is what, what it comes up with. So you get the ability and what I, what I think the best way to do this is I'm going to actually overlay the Vadio camera here so that we can see what we're doing. There is no video preview either that I could find. So I'm actually overlaying this with my, my editing software here. Um, but you can see I do have pan tilt zoom control, which is nice. Um, I can go up and down and, and that's good. And that's the same with the PTZ optics as well. And we'll show that in a little bit. So I can zoom in and out. I have full pan tilt zoom control, speed control, zoom control, and I can even call presets. And that's something important that we will definitely do um, in this review when we do our side by side comparison. But I have to go ahead and show you how to adjust the camera image so that you can see that this is a, a very fair and so what I found is you have to go to the admin section and after some testing I found that the password is password and yes I will go ahead and remember that and when you go to the admin saying there's a very nice panel on the left hand side here allowing you to do some very interesting things uh, which we will look at streaming um, you can stream right from these cameras, you can set the resolutions, but the camera settings was the most important thing for me because I had to, I have to make sure that I'm getting the best possible picture in this room from this camera as possible. And um, I'm going to go ahead and share that with you now. We have really good lighting in this room. We have video conferencing lighting. We also have some special lights in here for perfect ideal lighting. Now obviously the iris you want to have as opened as possible. Um, you know, that is, is a setting that we have we have on the PTZ optics and we have on the um, the Vadio here. You can see F1.8 is the lowest it can go. And you can literally close it. 9.6 is, is the least it can go. Okay. So by doing auto iris, that did not help at all, by the way. I click the auto iris, you can see there. Didn't help too much on the picture quality. I think it looks better with this custom setting that I did with the gain at eight. If I go any lower, oh, you know what? Seven actually, I think seven might actually be ideal. So there's seven. Um, auto white balance again did not help. Uh, I turned on the auto white balance. You can see there. Actually, it doesn't look too bad, but I thought that I go back to um, what I had here, and I just I just tried to tweak it to the right setting so that it looked good go okay that's too much it's too little okay 97 was what I liked just want to make sure that this is like a fair review okay 98 that's fine chroma again just showing off what, what the camera can do here all right now it's actually it actually I'm actually really liking this so round seven's too much Five is pretty good. Four even looks pretty good. I'm going to do five. And then you have the gamma setting. And we were at negative six, negative ten. Okay. Negative nine. So that's a pretty good setting. So, so that I had to show that off just because we're in this section. Here's the PTZ optics. And let's go ahead and put the PTZ optics here. Of course, I don't really need to do that because I've already got a um, video preview with the PTZ optics, but I'm still going to do because when I when I go to this next setting, I'll lose that. So um, really quickly, you know, again, v Vadio has a lot of nice options for um, resolution and streaming. You can stream in 1080p. You can do RTSP streaming. Uh, you can do a room label, which I think is nice. Um, some networking information, uh, DHCP, you can see there's my, my IP address there, some security, 
information there, um, some diagnostics, some system information, um, really it tells you exactly what the dip switches say, exactly what um, the camera's set to, and then um, let's go into camera settings here. Okay, so. Um, and then you can actually set up your custom uh, layouts if you want, which I had to find that in the manual. So on the PTZ Optics side, um, same type of, a little bit of a different layout here, video settings, uh, two streams that you can set up, a 1080 and a 720 or lower, um, some image stuff. So I can do image, brightness, saturation, sharpness, and hue. Now here's the interesting thing is that you can actually do more with the PTZ Optics camera using the menu and there was no saturation uh, availability in the Vadia, which saturation is important to me and contrast and hue. None of those are in the uh, settings in the, the Vadio and they are in the PTZ optics and there's even more in the menu, which I will show in a second here. Cause I think that is, I think really think that's important. So here's the PTZ optics image. And as we mentioned, I have gone through here and I've done automatic white balance. I've set the wide dynamic range, which I, again, I did not see any wide dynamic range information over here on the Vadio side. I'm not sure if it has wide dynamic range, but on the PTZ optic side, you can see digital range control here. I was able to change and select that between that. Uh, color, white balance. I set the image to be as, as good as possible, right? So here is our side-by-side -side camera layout. Let's turn the data screen off on the Vadio. And I hope that these look as good as they possibly can. I, I think I might need to do a little bit of tweaking with the Vadio, but they're, they're pretty close. Let's do a full zoom out on both cameras. So let's zoom out all the way on the PTZ optics. Let's zoom out all the way. Um, See, I'm not used to this. I think it's there. All the way on the Vadio. And um, let's go ahead and just do the auto iris and auto white balance. Because there we go. That does look better. You can see already in the auto white balance there. So I just want to make sure these, these, are, these are side by side. Very, I want to give each camera justice here as much as possible. So that's fully zoomed out. You can see it's, it's very, very similar field of view. Like, look at that. They're about the same side by side. It looks like the PTZ optics is a little wider. If you look at the chair on the right hand side, it's capturing more than the Vadio. And that's true to spec. But uh, PTZ optics to 72.5. Vadio is only 71. Now let's go ahead and zoom in. I'm going to zoom in all the way because I want to see which has the most zoom. So let's zoom in all the way on both cameras. Let's zoom in on the PTC optics all the way. Again, very, very similar. It looks to me, let's just do, let's just do like shoulder to shoulder here, that the Vadio doesn't zoom in as far either. I'm just trying to do a fair review. Okay, now let's set a preset. So one preset, just zoom out. And then if I hit one, it should go back. You know, th this this uh, is getting a little bit of a long to be a long, um, a long review, and I'm not sure how to do presets on both these cameras. But it does a good enough, I think, review. That's side by side. Let's look at them side by side one more time. Here's the Vadio. I ended up putting it on. I, I did my best to, to, to do the chroma and the gamma, and I have auto iris and auto white balance. Here is the PTC optics. There's just simply more things that you can fine tune with the PTC optics. Um, you know, we looked at that exposure, digital range control, saturation, hue, and the hue is extremely important. Uh, luminance, contrast, sharpness, gamma. Um, so a lot of this stuff, uh, some of those things, like I can name them off right now, hue and contrast, not available on the video as far as I can tell. So it, it's, a, it's a pretty big difference in the image quality that you can get. Now, I did not, I don't want this to be, you know, cause it, I just want to just be as fair as possible here. So finally, last thing here, here is the um, side-by-side -side review 
Um, both cameras now have PoE. That may be news to some of you out there. The PTZ Optics 12X SDI G2s are now shipping with PoE. Um, Vadio is roughly in the 3000 range. And one of the things I want to do is I want to show... Um, I'm sorry this, this, this review is so long, but there is a lot to talk about. Uh, the different Vadio um, models. So there is a 12X HDMI. This is B&H Photosite. This is only 2300 So uh, the one that we're showing in this review right now is the SDI version, which is 3000 right there. And just to make sure I have all my facts straight, let's go to the specs here. Um, 12X. Oh, it looks like it's 73 wide. Somewhere I read 71. That must have been a different model. HD, SDI, and HDMI. Well, that I have to contest because obviously the PTZ optics look wider. Um, it does the broadcast frame rates, which are nice. 16.9, um, um, 1 lux. So we looked at this again. Let's just overlay this here. Um, preset, very different uh, amount of presets there. And uh, IP streaming with the H.265. So. All this information is on our website. It's been a long video. I believe I did everything that I came to try to do. Um, so I believe this was a pretty good review. Uh, if you have any questions, if there's something you want to see at this... Fr oh, that's the one thing I forgot. Okay, last thing. Sorry, guys. Not ready to leave yet. One last thing. Um, because this Friday... Where, where am I here? Okay, here I am. Um, this Friday... Let's go to our YouTube channel where we do all of our live streaming. Um, is It's all about the optics camera shootout. Sony, Vadio, PTZ Optics, October 4th in three days. This is where we're going to show all of the footage uh, that we're taking. And this is where, you know, any questions you have, anything you want to see in particular, make sure you tell us before this live show in three days so that I can make sure that I'm showing everything that you guys want to see. We're going to go out and live stream some sports with these cameras, conference settings like I mentioned all above. It's been a long video. Don't forget to subscribe if you like to see these types of camera reviews. Thanks for sticking in this whole video. Everybody take care and don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful. Take care.